Hello Aquarius. Welcome to your reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Aquarius, this is a collective message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and an of note. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Aquarius. What do we have for you? Show me important messages for Aquarius. What Aquarius needs to know, please. What Aquarius needs to know. What Aquarius needs to know. Okay. Mm. Someone here is missing you, Aquarius. They feel sad. They feel lonely. They're missing you. They're longing for you. You are on their mind and they want you to know that you are on their mind. This person wants to reach out. Look, they want to text you that they miss you. Or they want to kind of let you know that they are thinking about you. Um, I'm getting very strongly here, Aquarius, that we are connecting in this reading for you with someone who is immature, who is childish, who can be a player, who likes to play mind games. And it feels like something here backfired. This person feels now lonely because Aquarius no longer want to play their game, right? We have passion. I feel that, you know, you are attracted to this person. You find them very attractive. I feel that chemistry is very intense between the two of you. But this person here, it's, they kind of, you know, I feel that they are full of passion. They desire you. Um, you are on their mind. This is very, very clear message about someone who's been, uh, I feel, very kind of inconsistent and their reaction been very childish, immature. Someone who doesn't like to be criticized, Aquarius. Oh, they don't like to be criticized. They don't take criticism very well. Uh, yes, this person here is missing you. They feel particularly kind of sad, I feel, because you might have let them know that you no longer uh, want to play their games. You don't want to entertain the situation and you withdraw your energy. Well, we have offer here. So this is someone here who wants to make an offer, who wants to reach out, who wants to um, kind of um, make you feel very special and they want you to know that they are missing you. Let's see. Let's see. Show me more for Aquarius. Yes, communication is coming with the Eight of Wands. Show me what's going on with Aquarius. So we have Five of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, the Sun. You might be dealing with Leo Aquarius. We have a seven of wands, two of swords. And we have this eight of wands while shuffling was showing up for us. At the bottom of the deck, we have justice, Libra energy. So you might be dealing with um, Leo. I have Libra as well. Five of pet. <laughs> excuse me, five of pentacles <laughs> to the ten of wands to the sun. Um, something here uh, will be resolved to your satisfaction, Aquarius, because the sun, it's, it's a very positive card and it's all, always a yes card. This is card that encourage us uh, to not lose hope, to be positive, to be optimistic, that good, good times are on the horizon. And with the five of pentacles, uh, to the Ten of Wands, I feel that you might have experienced some sort of difficulty. For some of you, if, you, if you've been um, in a quite challenging financial situation and it was a struggle or it's been a struggle with the Ten of Wands, it's been like a burden and the whole situation is being starting to kind of really um, feeling like a burden, you can be reassured that things will change with the sun. And it, it, it is a strong and quite significant change because you see the energy. It's completely different. With the Seven of Wands, 
to the two of swords and eight of wands here um you might have blocked someone here aquarius or someone might have blocked you if that's the case they will unblock you because um they they, they this is someone who wants to talk with the two of swords i feel that there is a stalemate between the two of you this person might have ghosted you or you've decided to i'm getting very strongly here aquarius that you actually decided to withdraw your energy especially when it comes to this I feel that you kind of a take a stand, even if they blocked you, please take it how it resonates for your personal situation. But even if they blocked you, I feel that you kind of made a decision that you're no longer going to entertain someone's mind games, someone's behavior, you have enough and you are just not interested. And it feels with the two of swords and the seven of wands, that's the case. But eight of wands indicates that someone here is rationing to be in touch with you. With the ten of wands and the seven of wands, yeah, this is someone who pushed you away and who became um, quite difficult. I feel this is someone who who created difficulties, who created obstacles, issues, and at, at I feel that within time the whole situation was quite difficult, and it shouldn't be that difficult, and that's the case. And with the Ten of Wands, I feel that, you know, emotionally you were by your own. This person didn't understand you. They refused to kind of take into consideration uh, your emotions because um, this is someone here who kind of, it's very mature. Yeah. And with the Two of Swords, I feel that you are blocking this situation. Yeah, for some of you, you block this person indeed. But if that's the case, they will find a way to send you a message or to reach out because they are coming with an offer. Mm -hmm. And I feel that whole situation will put you in this double-edged sword kind of situation because you will feel, well, maybe I should reply. But at the same time, if I reply, then I will give this person a space to kind of, you know, or give them... Um, um, or, I will come across that you know I am uh, open for communication maybe for some of you you want this communication it can be a case please take it how it resonates but what I see here I see that collect you know as a collective majority of you are just not very interested because I feel this person annoyed you and you might have parted ways in not particularly nice terms not in a good terms, let's say it that way. With the justice, you will gain your justice, Aquarius. You will. Justice here will be served. This person is receiving their karma. And, and I'm also getting, Aquarius, that you're receiving a good karma. Because this is someone's energy. Someone put you in that energy. We have it here, very, 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 very much visible. And I feel you gave your all with the sun. You invested so much in this connection, but it became a burden. And at, at the end, I feel that you kind of felt that, well, there is nothing else I can do here. It's just too draining. This person doesn't refuse to see my point of view. Uh, they, they just so, in, I see someone who is so inconsistent and who might have quite quick temper as well with, the, with this eight of wands. Either way, I'm seeing you uh, manifesting here uh, some sort of kind of progress. There will be a progress, especially regarding uh, f finances. Something that's been uh, tiring and it's been, and you know, you might be feeling that it's like a burden. Um, the situation will be resolved, and with the sun, you will get the most positive outcome possible. I can tell you that. So your situation, when it comes to finances, either way. Uh, will upgrade this is uh, happiness this is joy this is uh, abundance prosperity you know you're manifesting it it's like for some of you if you are in debt I feel that you will be able to uh, kind of um, resolve this and be debt free kind of vibe I'm getting yeah big time and for some time you might felt that you know you are unable to kind of take yourself from take yourself from that situation but now 
uh, you will be in a better financial position. So please take it how it resonates. But I'm seeing that finances in general here for your Aquarius uh, uh, will looking they are, they are looking very promising or they will look really, really good. Oh, no, finances. Material situation will look very, very good. Okay. So let's see. <laughs> let's see. Show me love life. Show me love life for Aquarius. King of Cups. Okay. Seven of Cups. Chariot. Wheel of Fortune. Who is coming to you, Aquarius? For some of you, you might be... Uh, there might be someone who is uh, at the distance. They're living in a different country or they are from a different country. Um, different city, different state. But because with Chariot with the Wheel of Fortune indicates travel, movement. Literally and metaphorically, of course, as well. Some sort of progress as well. A big progress, I would say. Gosh, two major kind of big progress. Show me more for Aquarius regarding Aquarius's love life. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck, the Hanged Man, and the Eight of Swords. Okay. Interesting. You might be dealing Aquarius with Pisces. I have Cancerian energy with the Chariot and with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, you might be dealing with another Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or Sagittarius, okay? Someone here, this King of Cups, okay, a male, female, please take it how it resonates. But I'm seeing quite strong masculine energy, actually. This King of Cups is thinking a lot about you with the Seven of Cups, and it's like they are... This is someone who's very deep in their emotions at the moment, but I'm also getting that at some point, this is someone who made you feel that you are an option, not a priority. This is someone who might have kept their options open. The thing is with this King of Cups is that they do have feelings for you. Whoever this person might be for you, Aquarius. They do have feelings for you, but it's like with the Seven of Cups, they are confused. This is someone who appears uh, to have a lot to offer especially on emotional level but at the end of the day they they come across as someone who's confused maybe they have options enough maybe they are really really kind of charismatic represented also by the king of wands maybe they are very good looking and they kind of know about it you know they are very ambitious creative very passionate um, but with the seven of cups this is someone who's confused they don't know what they want and I feel at some point they made you feel that way. Then we have Chariot and a Wheel of Fortune. As I mentioned before, for some of you, this is someone from, uh, from, the, from, from a different country or they live in a different country or they live in a different state. There is a physical distance between the two of you. But um, hmm. I'm getting from this person very in and out energy, okay? Because look, we have the chariot and the wheel of fortune and we established that this is action because yes the chariot put things in motion the will it's the, the 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 movement of the will it's itself an action right so we have someone here who wants to chase you with the chariot who wants to put things in motion but then we have very passive energy the hanged man which is just no action 
And then we have the eight of swords, no action, limitations, feeling, feeling stuck, feeling unable to do something or to kind of uh, continue this progress represented by the chariot and the wheel of fortune. Why? Because this person doesn't know what they want. This is someone here who is missing you. This is this person. Mm -hmm. They are longing for you. They want to reach out. Uh, this person here wants to come across as they are emotionally available, but they don't know what they want here. Aquarius. And I feel that at some point you refuse to play this person, to, you know, to entertain them, and uh, you, no longer want, well, you no longer want to play their games, because this is someone who is playing mind games. This is a player energy. The king of wands with the king of cups, absolutely. And someone who is shown in a major arcana who represents that kind of energy of in and out. This is someone who, whose nature is just like this. This person, I feel that it will be very difficult for them to change. Um, you know, irrespective of their age, because they can be 60 and they can be 20. But this is someone who is just, you know, they are like this. That's their mindset represented by the Eight of Swords and they don't want to change. Maybe it's, it's more convenient for them. Maybe it's a defense mechanism. This, either way, this is someone who is stuck. Who is stuck. And they, if you heard, for, for instance, Aquarius, that this person um, is in a new relationship or they were involved here with someone, that it's not permanent all those relationships are not because this person is unable to keep those uh, relationships connections uh, stable this is someone i'm getting this person is traveling a lot you know their lifestyle is like this i'm getting someone who likes their independence who because the fact uh, that they have their independence is like empowering them. This is someone who feels that they are truly in control when they have those kind of surface level um, relationships. They are missing you though, Aquarius. I feel that you kind of left a mark, to be perfectly honest with you, on this person's heart. Because they are longing, this is, I'm getting someone who's coming and then who, they are arriving essentially with the chariot and the wheel of fortune and then they they are present and then there is a pause with the hanged man you can't you are, you're not hearing anything from them with the eight of swords no action this person is it's blocked it's like they are unable to keep that progress to take this connection into the next level any connection aquarius any connection and it might seems that they have it all. They don't. They don't. This person is confused. This person is confused with the Seven of Cups. And they have a tendency to, uh, to project this confusion on any connection. And that's what happened here with you. They project it this confusion on this connection because this is someone here who doesn't know what they want on emotional level and it wouldn't surprise me if you tell me for instance in the comment section below that mary you know i've tried but it felt like this person uh, didn't want me was was pushing me away i would believe you eight of swords blocked I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me, for instance, that you had a conversation with them, Aquarius, and you said, listen, maybe we should, you know, take this connection to the next level. Maybe we should do this, this and that. And this person got caught feet, cold feet. And they said, well, I can't do it now because my hands are tied. Right? Eight of swords. Ah, that's a mindset. This is someone who refused to take an action because that's, that's how they see the situation and that's how they want to kind of, you know, be in that sort of 
dynamics. Yeah, this is very much someone who've been very in and out and they are showing up in, in this for you in this reading and it wouldn't surprise me that uh, you'll feel like Aquarius, oh my gosh, this person again. But they are because they are clinging on your energy. I would love to talk about a new person, but when I see this, this is not a new person. This is someone who confused you and who's been confusing you for, for a long time. This is someone who's been playing, excuse me, who's been playing games with you. This person is unable because I feel blocked on a throat chakra. This is someone who is unable to express themselves in a, in a kind of clear, in a, in a kind of, um, this is someone who has problem with communication. There is a lack of clear communication from their side. Mm -hmm. But what I'm seeing here is that this person wants to chase your Aquarius with the will of fortune. It feels like they're coming back around. Um, but then it will be the same scenario. The hanged man and the eight of swords. Pause and being unable to move this connection to the next level. And they will come back around again because that's their nature and they're acting like this with everyone i'm getting someone here who is oh my gosh wow yeah my head just spin <laughs> yeah oh yes they're coming back around and this is someone who's been coming back around many 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 times It's like feeling in a loop. And I'm getting Aquarius that you are empowering this person. This person is, it's changing um, in a sense of, I don't know, I feel Aquarius had reading like this recently about someone here who is like, um, who cares a lot about your opinion, Aquarius. And it's like this person is uh, cleaning on your energy. And they are like, it's like you are empowering this person. This person is more confident. If you give them attention, this person wants your attention, Aquarius. And it's like they are coming back when they need it and when they are leaving. It's very odd dynamics. Very, very odd. I'm getting that this person wants to be in control, wants to be feel empowered by you, wants to hear like a good word from you, uh, but you are not interested anymore. Uh -uh. From this king of cups, they want to be seen as a king of wands. Being creative, being empowered, being um, uh, full of uh, ideas, you know. Because it's like your energy, Aquarius, giving this person a spark of creativity. Without you, they are this king of cups, sitting there and being deep in their emotions, being lazy. Um, not having enthusiasm much and being confused with the seven of cups the thing is that they are still confused but it's something about this person coming back for some time having conversation or being around you and they are like kind of taking your energy the thing is that energy cannot be taken you know it can be lent i guess that that's how you can say it but you are no longer um, open for this. No, you, I feel that you're refusing this. Or you might recently kind of said to this person, I uh, listen, I'm busy. You know, I, 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 I'm getting that you are completely aware of their ways. You know what's going on. But I'm seeing this person being stubborn and coming back around. And this is the cyclical situation here. And it, 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 it just, it's so on, uh, just because with the eight of souls, this is someone who refused to take any action. They, they feel some sort of restrictions, 
limitations they don't want to do that ace of swords they're coming to talk with you then we have the hermit they feel lonely they've been thinking about the situation three of pentacles they'll be talking about their work aquarius ten of pentacles oh yes they will be telling you that you know they they are thinking about settling down aquarius yeah with the lovers Mm -hmm. they want relationship now they are ready they've grown uh, as a person they they kind of level up they are ready now to be in a serious uh, stable relationship and there is a reason why they are in touch with you because they see you as their divine counterpart that's what they will tell you mm -hmm they thought about the situation you might be dealing with gemini aquarius i also have um virgo energy nothing is changing at the end of the day eight of swords hanged man blockage and this is person's choice this is someone who is full of bs i'm sorry aquarius but this is just not okay. This is someone who is wasting your time. Because they are still coming with a confusion. The same energy. Action, then pause. No action. Feeling stuck. Maybe even blocking you with, with no reason. Without a reason. there is a clash of personalities between the two of you with the two of wands it's a clash of personalities because you are Aquarius I feel you want a stable connection stable relationship and it's like being in a loop with the situation it's like it's it's come it's just like this this person is coming back around and it feels like a loop like never-ending story and nothing is changing. That's the main, that's the bottom line here. Nothing is changing. Show me please near future for Aquarius. It wouldn't surprise me that this person was telling you many times that they are ready to settle down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me the future for Aquarius, please. King of Swords. Your energy, Aquarius. You are in control. The full. Mm -hmm. More of your energy, Aquarius, and also Aries. Show me near future for Aquarius. Queen of Swords. Wow. Aquarius. Oh my gosh. And the lovers. Gemini energy. Aquarius, you have a new relationship. New, new relationship in the near future. You are manifesting your soulmate. Divine counterpart. True partner. And with the full, this is someone new. This is a new relationship for some of you. Um, this is someone uh, who uh, who might be divorced and um, children might be involved in that situation. But it's like I'm getting a blended uh, family, if that's the right way to say. Because it might be a case, Aquarius, that you have children uh, as well and i'm seeing two people coming together and forming a family this is family the lovers relationship six of pentacles based on uh i i wanted to say this equal give take you know fairness balance harmony in this case this is not someone here who's going to breadcrumb you. No, because we have very positive cards. You manifesting your divine counterpart. 
this is a true connection look and we have the lovers and in the middle here we have the fall you will meet up very soon very soon this is someone new maybe you've already met them but this is in your near future so i'm seeing you meeting this person okay as a collective please take it how it resonates for your personal situation but in a near future you will meet your uh, higher vibrational soulmate this is this is i mean this is quite extraordinary actually you will meet up a new person and it feels like this is your soulmate you're manifesting this person this is your soulmate and you will be in a very very happy relationship with them that's what i can tell you this is a new individual this is a new energy and with the lovers you'll be very happy king of swords and queen of swords incredible with the fall and i'm seeing like you know um two families coming together it doesn't have to be the case but the fool can represent that as well but um if that's not the case aquarius i'm getting that this is a new person both of you you will meet up and uh you will be in a relationship with the lovers i can tell you that because that's a clear message for you aquarius and i'm very happy for you because that here it's 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 a waste of time i need to be honest of course everybody has a free will and i need to emphasize it um, and if you want to reconcile with this past person who's been very in and out there will be an opportunity because they're coming back but i can tell you now here aquarius uh, th that this person feels inability to take this connection into the next level because eight of swords it's 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 that's it this is how this connection can progress as it is now as it always been but of course if you want to be in touch and if you want to you know um if you miss this person and if you want to be with them absolutely there will be a chance to reconcile with this individual however it's very important to take into account that you are going to very soon meet a new individual and this is your divine counterpart this is your soulmate higher vibrational soulmate because that can feel like twin flame and the case is here that you know we don't need to be with our twin no we can move towards our soulmate right we have a free will we have that that gift of choice here we've been given a, a gift of choice so we can make a decision if we want to stay in a twin flame connection or if we're going to move or if we want to move in in a in a in a, in a completely different direction and manifest our soulmate and it feels like you're going to be you soon very soon you will meet a new person and you will be in a new relationship that will blossom into something really beautiful and stable aquarius so that's very very beautiful you will meet this person at the end of this month or in may june as well at the beginning of june Show me the outcome, please, for Aquarius. Show me the outcome, please, for Aquarius. Six of Wands, Nine of Swords, mm -hmm. King of Pentacles. One more, please. And temperance Sagittarius energy we have the Empress at the bottom of the deck beautiful so Aquarius in your outcome we have here someone who wants your attention with the six of wands with the nine of swords this is someone who is uh, conflicted this is someone who has guilty conscious this person here um, it's losing sleep over you and it's like they, they this is someone who knows uh, that um, 
that they need to heal, that they need to do the work. But I'm seeing that they're refusing to do that because this is this king of pentacles. I feel that you didn't heal with someone who is trying to appear as very wise with the temperance, very balanced, very calm. But this is an act. This is someone who knows that they need to heal, that, that there are certain things that they need to face, they need to admit. And it might be difficult, but it's very, very healing and they will be able to move on. But instead of doing this, they are kind of showing up as this kind of alpha male, alpha female kind of energy that they have their things together that, you know, they have so much to offer. But the reality is that on emotional level, this person is confused. And with the nine of swords, they are losing sleep here over you, Aquarius. This is this individual in your outcome they're showing up because uh, this person is coming to get your attention again this is what i was talking about they want your attention because they are not having a good time and aquarius maybe you are naturally healer aquarius maybe you have this energy that it's so healing and this person just needs your energy it can be a case because a temperance is very healing as well i tell you here one thing aquarius with the temperance, which is a uh, card of the guardian angel, this is also a guardian angel of tarot, uh, you are protected and divinely guided. Okay, your spiritual team, your guardian angels, your, your, your ancestors are with you. And they are supporting you. They are, you are protected. Nothing here, you know, you have nothing to worry about at the end of the day. But you can expect indeed this person to come in with an offer. You have someone who is very clingy, who is very, very kind of attached to you energetically and emotionally. This person just feels unable to let you go. And I feel that you've kind of, you know, made a decision to detach from it. You're manifesting the fact that in the near future you have a completely new relationship with your soulmate. It means that you made certain decisions here. To detach from someone or to kind of you know you draw a line and you put a very very kind of strong boundaries and you have your guard up but this person is still coming here in order to get your attention this it's like with the temperance they will try to come across as a very balanced that everything is fine you know that um you know nothing really changed in their life um, and that they want to heal this connection this situation in, in this is someone who wants your attention Aquarius because I'm getting you are very healing for this person but <laughs> do they have the same uh, the, do they hold the same impact you know if they have the same oh, what, how can I say it? Did they, did, is it mutual you know do you feel the same way when they're coming back. Maybe at the very beginning you do, but I'm getting that within time this person is draining. And that's the bottom line. Well, in your outcome, you can expect this person here to, to show up. We have a strong earth, so you might be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn. I also have a Gemini, okay? The thing is that your overall energy if the em is the Empress. You are very high vibrational. This is divine feminine energy. Male, female, please take it how it resonates. We all have divine masculine, divine feminine energy. But the Empress represents everything what's beautiful when it comes to 3D. And energetically as well, you know, she represents growth, expansion, um, abundance, prosperity and also beautiful connection and relationship. And this Empress here, it's, it's showing up because you are manifesting your divine counterpart. And that's what is very, very much visible here. You will soon meet someone who will be very significant uh, for you. And I feel that with the lovers and this incredible combination of cards, it is a sign that this connection will blossom into something beautiful and with the Empress it is like a double confirmation that you can expect that you are entering a very positive period in your life full of happiness joy expansion growth and good fortune and it is all due 
to your choices. You choosing yourself, making certain choices doesn't mean that they are easy choices, but I feel you are very assertive and you know exactly what you want. And at the end of the day, a spirit will be, will, is sending you blessings. And this Empress, it's this kind of energy of good luck and good fortune. And you will receive blessings. You receive beautiful blessings from the universe. Aquarius, I'll leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you. Aquarius, have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day. And once again, thank you so, so very much for being with me. Love and light. Till next time. Take care. Bye.